Today's video is sponsored by Native. Native makes amazing personal products such as deodorant, body wash, and lotion. They're clean, vegan, and cruelty-free as well, which is fantastic. Their deodorant is long-lasting, providing up to 72 hours of odor protection. They are aluminum and paraben-free, utilizing those clean ingredients you know, like shea butter and coconut oil. They also have such a huge range of scents, from something woodsy to beachy or even something sweet. Whatever combination you can think of, they probably have. So I I got three different ones and I've been absolutely loving the aloe and green tea the most. A really close second is the cucumber and mint as well as the coconut and vanilla. I am just loving these so freaking much. And I think aside from the nice scents and the fact that when you apply this deodorant it's not sticky because I absolutely hate that when I have that feeling. I love that they have this sensitive line. What sets apart the sensitive line is these are made without baking soda and they are also vegan. Native's baking soda free formula includes coconut oil and magnesium oxide which is found in the Dead Sea and it offers up to 72 hours of odor protection. So if you would like to try Native out you can use my link and code which is on the screen and in the description down below to to get 20% off your first purchase with Native. This offer is available site-wide, but for a limited time. So make sure that you stock up and save. And thank you once again to Native for sponsoring today's video. And now let's get into the vlog. Hello? Yeah, good morning. Ginger, aside from demanding the sink is turned on, what is your beauty routine? What do you do? Is it in here? Oh, no, that's trashy makeup. You would never, oh, okay. Hello, guys. Um, This is not the actual intro. We're gonna film that in the car in a second, but I need to fill up a Stanley to take with me to therapy. So, we're gonna, break out one of the 30 ounce ones that I have. I really like these. I'm also debating buying, it's by Shea Mitchell. It's her like luggage line and stuff, but they have a water bottle pack that I think would be really cool to like, when I go on walks and stuff to have, and these fit in there. So I'm just counting down the days till they come back in stock, but I'm gonna fill this guy up and I think I'm gonna make a liquid IV with it. So, let's get to doing that. Hello guys. I am trying to figure out the best way to do this. Um, I will say my goal is to be able to car vlog at some point but i don't know if it's gonna be on this camera but this camera's quality is just so you know like i want it in my life but the mic is so tall that that might be difficult to do but we'll figure it out um hi welcome to the weekly vlog welcome to or back to the channel um how are you doing 
How is your day going? Let me know down below. What are you reading? Um, I am currently reading Divine Rivals. And I started this last night. It's on Kindle Unlimited. If you didn't know, I didn't know. And I'm on page 19, chapter 2. And I'm enjoying it so far. Um, I like that this is feeling like it is historical fiction adjacent. It doesn't feel like historical fiction fully, but it also does feel like some historical fiction-esque vibes. You know? Maybe? Um, so I am... I'm liking it. All I know so far though is that we have our main characters, they're rival journalists at the same newspaper. The one that I know of right now, the girl who is named Iris, she has an older brother that went off to a war. And these wars, first I thought that this was like World War One. it's not, it's like an alternative world but it's for these gods that have like risen back up and they're fighting and so people have like started to go to war for them. That is what I'm reading currently. But man, my nose literally could signal people from like airplanes. It is so bright. I did not mean to go that heavy on the, you know, old highlighter, but I'm also not upset about it either. How are you guys doing? I feel like, I was gonna say, I feel like I haven't talked to you guys in weeks, but that's like literally true. I just haven't. Um, I've been filming my monthly reset for July. I am trying a more lifestyle one because on my break, you guys, I just watched so many lifestyle channels and specifically vlogtober which i put up on the community tab to see if y'all wanted it i'm not surprised that it is winning over vlogmas because that's how i feel i prefer it over vlogmas what if i open this oh no so that is where i am at with that i guess i have been watching one channel called naturally sunny and i really really love her channel if you want to branch into the lifestyle channels highly recommend her she is so funny and chill and just like relatable and just so nice to watch like she just is so calming but also has good energy and vibes i don't really know how to explain it to you but i love that channel so i've been watching it a lot and that's why i wanted to start doing vlogtober because i saw her old vlogs i started watching all of her vlogs from like the last year and i got to vlogtober and i was like hold on what's this and then i looked it up it's a whole thing on youtube people have been doing it for years tons of people tons of people have been doing it for years and i was like well let me try it out so i am I also have my new camera set up. I have had this. This is the Canon M50. I've had it for forever, but I could not find a lens that I liked for the lighting that I find myself in because I have a lot of low lighting in my house and I don't like lighting equipment. I don't want to have it. I don't want to. I don't want to buy it. I don't want to mess with it. I don't like the way that it looks. I don't want that. <laughs> for me and this one has such a good quality I feel in lower lighting and you can adjust it really well and so I fell down a rabbit hole of also watching how to set this up I got the new Rode mic on top it's looking good it's looking cute and yeah that's really all I have for that I'm excited this week is my birthday on Thursday and we're seeing Insidious so excited we're also gonna go get food before excited for that too because we're going to it is the it's the same restaurant that we went to before over there recently and they have that like really good margarita that I didn't think I was gonna like but I really liked it so I'm excited to go back to that and then on Friday summer ween starts and I am gonna be doing a vlog for summer ween but it's gonna come up the week after summer ween ends because I want it to just be its own cute little reading spooky vlog i don't want to do daily vlogs for it this year and i'm also gonna keep this like weekly vlog with like the behind the scenes of it all still so i'll discuss some summer ween things in here but there will be a dedicated reading vlog for it coming so there is that but Aside from that, I did want to say another thing I discovered is that the Lifestyle Girls with their weekly vlogs, you're probably not going to find one that's under an hour. I found people that are doing like hour and a half and two, two and a half hours. 
and that is just every week and I'm like that is what I want to be making I love that I love watching such long vlogs and like spending an hour and a half two hours two and a half hours <laughs> watching some people like just do random normal things oh my god it inspires me and makes me want to like clean my house do the dishes cook go out and do things run errands things that I don't want to do normally Watching them in weekly vlogs makes me want to do them and I just want you to know this is a warning that my vlogs are probably only going to get longer. So I hope you're excited for that because it's going to happen no matter what. <laughs> It just is what it is. And last random update, I changed my phone case to this one. This is a case to fight case. I got this one when I did like a brand deal with them last year, I wanna say. Also, 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 we did go to World Market this weekend and I'm gonna show you guys all of like the stuff that we got for the house because I really wanted, I don't know if it would be a credenza. I don't know what it is. It's supposed to be one, but we're using it behind the couch. But I really wanted that there because I thought it would look cute. It does. And then we got rocking chairs and stuff for the front porch. We finished building the rocking chairs for the back porch. I'm so excited. I'm gonna be rocking and rolling on every porch this summer, every single one. And I'm so excited about it. Um, the rocking chairs that are on the front porch, I actually got for a sponsor that like is coming later on in the month. So you'll see more of them and like me attempting to build them. I built the table real well. The chairs, I had to call in some reinforcement, but I'm still gonna show y'all because I'm probably gonna go sit out there when it's cooler this week or at night or something, or even in the morning, I don't know. You know what sounds so nice? To get up like early in the morning and sit out there and drink my coffee. That's what sounds nice. Um, but what doesn't sound nice is the fact that starting on Wednesday, it's not gonna be below 100 degrees and hell next Wednesday when it is 108 degrees. Hello? Although today it says it's gonna rain at 2 p.m. so I don't really know. Anyways, I am headed to therapy. It's Monday, you guessed it, you know my sketch. So I gotta go to therapy, but I think I'm gonna stop and get a little coffee. I was thinking about going to Central Market and getting one of their coffees. I love them, I highly recommend their coffee. It is coffee coffee, like it is straight espresso. I mean, it's got oat milk and vanilla in it, but it's still strong coffee. And I've already had a coffee this morning, so I think that I should probably not do that. So I'm actually gonna go get a chai from Starbucks because it tastes really good, but it doesn't have a lot of coffee in it. And here's a little recommendation before I sign off for the moment. If you want like a fallish drink, let me just tell you, a grande chai latte with oat milk, always, two pumps of brown, sugar and then you can add espresso if you want or if you don't I always add espresso if I do it's gonna be blonde espresso but you can just get a grande chai with oat milk and two pumps of brown sugar and it tastes like fall in a cup it is so good it is so good I love it so much so that's probably what I'm gonna go get now and then I'm gonna head up there and I'll do a little bit of reading before heading inside and yeah and that's the plan so I'm excited to be back with you guys to do all the things when we did go to Michael's which I have a Michaels haul that I'm gonna show you guys when we get home. We got some like paint by numbers. I got an embroidery starter kit and a cross stitch. I've done cross stitch before. I really wanna get back into it because I love it. It's so fun. And I wanna practice on like the pre-made kits before I buy some from Etsy to print out and do because they have so many cute ones. Ugh, I wanna hang them up in the house and stuff. So anyways, we'll get into that when we get into that. There's already fall decor out at World Market and at Michaels. And I'm not gonna lie to you, I get more excited for the fall decor than I do for Halloween specific stuff because with fall I can acceptably put that up at like end of August because September October and November are fall December we limit Christmas time is boom like end of November December done but fall she gets the full three months that she deserves because yes there's that I'm gonna go I'm gonna drink my liquid IV because God knows I need it and I'm gonna get y'all out of the Sun because I'm sure that my camera is angry at me and it's probably gonna start flashing at any moment. So cute. I'll see you guys later. Okay, it's super freaking hot, but I just got out and I wanted to show you my therapist brought me a cupcake. I'll just have to show you when I get home so you can see it, but it's so cute. It's from Unrefined Bakery. It's gluten-free vegan, all the good stuff. So if you like this household need those two things, check it out. It's really nice. We love our local one, but I'm gonna drive home now and decide what I'm gonna do for lunch. 
and then we will check in. Oh, I ordered new bedding. So we're actually gonna set up the new bedding together. I'm gonna put the B-roll in here. I'm also gonna do it for my monthly reset, but also I wanna do it in this vlog because it's, I got a fall bedding, okay, I did. Look at this cupcake, isn't it so cute? It's lemon. Can we talk about how cute this guy is right now in this bed? Look at him, he matches the new pillows. We are getting a middle one for right there, don't worry. But look how cute he is. Hi. So, bit of a change. Um, I did take two thumbnails. Took one for the reset, which I wore in my pink Lululemon pullover. And then I took one for this vlog, which I wore, well, I just closed my fall one, but I suppose it's just beige. But it is that time of day where I become hyper aware that I've been wearing makeup for far longer than I'd like to. I like wearing makeup, but I wish I didn't feel like I was wearing makeup, you know? So, oh, where are they? They're somewhere. I brought my makeup wipes in here that we got at Target, and I'm gonna go wipe that off and then take a shower, do the cleansing, all the things for skincare, and then I'm going to sit down and read Divine Rivals. I'm very excited for this. I'm very excited for this. I may go browse and see if I can find like a good little ambience room. I don't really know what I would be looking for, but yeah, I'm just, I'm thinking about finding one. Also, I'm just reading on the back, the author of Serpent and Dove blurb for this, and I really need to reread Serpent and Dove so that I may embark on finishing off that series. But unable to focus note, I have spotted my copy of The Curse of Saints yet again. First of all, look how good this looks with the color scheme going on. Ignore all the pillows and bedding in the back that I have to wash. Look how good this looks. Yeah. Oh my God, it literally, now if I put it this way, if I dyed my hair black, I kinda wanna read this. Kinda wanna read this next. I'm in a fantasy mood, that is for sure, which we'll see how that goes for the end of the week with Summerween starting and all the spooky books happening. But for right now, I'm gonna actually try to focus. <laughs> Imagine, on this book. So, let's go. These little things go on your wrist to stop the water from going down. I got them on Amazon. I can't recommend them enough. I, I love these. Hi, happy Tuesday. I'm gonna have to be so honest with you guys. This camera is so big that I am gonna, I literally bought weights at Target today so that I can start getting better at holding this because this camera is so much heavier than the other one that I have, but it's so much better. Ignore the bad lighting. That's a me problem, not the camera. Hey, what if I could figure out this camera? Look, this is the, the cat that I sponsor at Milo's Sanctuary. He's so cute. You wanna know his name? I'll tell you his name. 
You wanna know? Pancake sticky paws. Chose them because I relate to him. I also have another one that I do that um, I always forget her name, but I have her picture in my office because she's the cutest little one ever. She has cat epilepsy. I was like, oh my God, more relatable content. So yeah. Oh. And then of course I sponsor this one. Right, Ginger? Oh, you're so cute. She's like, let me go. I just had to give her new food. Um, so random update. I've, I've talked about this on Patreon, but Ginger had to go to the ER. She's fine now. She's back to yelling at me at the most inopportune times. She was silent until this turned on. Can I tell you that? Cause that is, but anyways, I'm watching Miss Haley Pham. Whoa, whoa. And my thumb is accidentally fast forwarding. <laughs> But I am watching her new video because we are a stan on this channel and I am making literally right now an espresso because my noggin has decided to like be a problem today and that's great. I'm having such a good time with that. <laughs> but oh, oh, we got new books. My partner, we, okay, so we went to a coffee shop as you saw and then we went to Barnes and we went to Target and we got two plants at Target, first of all, because they need to be saved. And I have decided I'm gonna be the person to do it apparently. I don't have a green thumb. I barely have two thumbs, but I'm going to try. And then they also bought me some books for my birthday early. So that was very sweet. And I will show them to you in a moment because I also wanna show you the lamp we got from Home Goods, the new world market table, and then the books, obviously, that are over there. I'm having a bit of a headache day. You couldn't tell by the way I'm talking so freaking loud on my own. Like, why am I yelling? Who am I competing with? Absolutely no one. I have a mic, so you're gonna hear me even more. And no one's home. But one thing I'm gonna do is yell. <laughs> For whatever reason. But I have started the final strife. Or has the final strife started on me? I don't know. But that book is already phenomenal. It is an adult fantasy set in... I almost said set in a fantasy world. Wow. You know what you come here for? The groundbreaking book reviews. I know it is. You don't have to confirm it. I already know. <laughs> Hello. Uh, but it is. It is an adult fantasy set in a fantasy world. Because what I'm not uh, attempting to be is in this one. That's why I don't like contemporary. Because I'm like, I want to go away from here. Not to here. I bought Battle Drum at Barnes because I am already loving this and I want it. I do have the... Is it Goldsboro, I believe, of The Final Strife? And that edition is beautiful, but there's something about these US covers with the characters on them that I'm just like, I don't know, well, the characters are drop dead gorgeous, but also like the art style is just so beautiful and the colors are so rich. Like I just, the blue and the red, and this is what all fantasy, I, like the next one's either gonna be purple, green, or yellow, I feel, because I feel like all adult fantasies follow the same color scheme for whatever reason, but it looks better on these. <laughs> I don't know why. I have nothing to back that up. I don't have science to prove it to you, but just believe me, okay? Take a random person's opinion on the internet as true. But I started that last night audiobook because I love the narrator of that. So that's going well. But right now my head, oh, you know what? I've realized I don't know how loud I am because these are on. Okay, now I can hear myself. That was probably awful. That's why Ginger left and she's like, why are you yelling at this contraption again? Editing me will just turn it down. Why do I tell you all of these things that you don't need to know? Like every time I watch other people's videos, I'm like, wow, they like know how to edit. And then there's me. I'm like, hey guys, wanna know every little inch of everything? <laughs> I don't know why I do this, but yeah. So the final stripe is my audiobook currently, but my head is a little bit like, wow, wow, wow. I don't know what that means, but you know what that means. If you have head problems, that's a very broad term, but you know what I mean. <laughs> if you get, if you get headaches, you know what I mean. So we're gonna take a chance on this shot of espresso helping my anxiety. No, definitely not helping my headache. I'm not feeling too anxious. Actually, I'm not feeling anxious at all. I am feeling annoyed though already because it is the fourth and that means that where we live, people are just gonna be letting off fireworks literally, probably starting at 6 p.m. Is the sky dark enough to see them? No, but you know what they've been doing? Day drinking, so they're gonna do it anyways and I feel super safe with them having those at hand. Um, and Jake hates them. He is such a skittish, anxious boy. He is gonna be upset. What I've had to do is put on um, brown noise on my hatch alarm clock and put on like a jazz, he loves, he loves the jazz coffee ambiance 
playlist that I have. Which someone did comment that they wanted my playlist back. The playlist for all the ambiance rooms that I have, I'm gonna put it back up, but I'm sorting it out by um, season. So I'm putting fall first, cause it matters the most, then winter, then spring, then summer. And then at the bottom, I'm gonna have all the classical music. And then after that, I'm gonna have like, well, fantasy is gonna go before the seasons, but whatever. I'm organizing it so it's easier to navigate and use for reading, but it's gonna come back up on the channel. Don't even worry about it. Don't you worry about it. Anyways, let's get back to what I was even trying to use this clip to say. I'm making a freaking coffee. I'm listening to The Final Strife on audiobook. I'm hoping this coffee makes it to where I can stand listening to an audiobook right now. This is eight minutes of what? I don't know. I'm physically reading Divine Rivals. I'm gonna get back to reading Divine Rivals right now because my eyes don't hurt, which sometimes they do with headaches, so I can, I can read it. But I am going into my cave of a bedroom because the sun has since passed that spot, so I can have less light surrounding me, which is great. But this camera, ooh, I don't know if it's the aperture. I don't know if it's the, what's the f-stop? Did I make that up? I don't know what it is. Something about this is a 1.4 and it is amazing. It lets everything, it is dark in here, okay? But you wouldn't know it from that. Now it is a giant of a lens, but I don't know. I don't know, I'm kind of into it. So hopefully it won't look too bad there. But let me, let's go look at the, new thing that I was talking about, the furniture, because um, you wanna see it, I promise. Probably not, actually. Mm, it's a living room clean. That's a subjective thing, right? So I'm going to, <laughs> we're in the middle of doing a deep clean. I'm filming it, but like, good God, right? Who, <laughs> what's happening? I wanna show you those and then we'll make a coffee and then we'll go read Divine Rivals and continue. Actually, move that back one. Then we're gonna keep watching this vlog and then we're gonna read Divine Rivals. And also by the freaking way, Divine Rivals is amazing. And I don't have a TBR for July yet. I only have like the summer ween reads I wanna get to. So is Rebecca Ross other two books are gonna be on my TV? Probably, probably, because I'm obsessed with her writing. And I'm like, if this is her YA writing, Bring me a river enchanted. Is that YA? I don't know, actually. It doesn't look it on the cover, but who knows? Let's go. Okay, so this is my brand new water bottle. Just kidding. Imagine if that was like literally the tour. Oh God. Okay, so these are the books I got. The Wisteria Society of Lady Scoundrels. Then because it was buy one, get one 50% off, I also got this one. Then I want to read this for Summerween. It's a nice short little thriller. So I got that. Do I know what it's about? Don't ask me questions you know the answer to. And then here is the battle drum. Look at how beautiful. Let me fix this lighting. Look how beautiful this is. Like, are you joking? See, now you see what I'm talking about. But yeah, these are the books that I got. A cute little haul. Then we got this at, what is that place called? Home Goods. This guy's from World Market, you already know. Um, this is one of the plants that we got from Target. This one, if you know the name of it, let me know. Because what Target calls it is assorted foliage, which surprisingly doesn't tell me anything. But yeah, those are those. Maybe I should move this water bottle out of the way. Look at that, so cute. There's Ginger in the back. The only thing I don't like about this camera is it doesn't have a zoom, but I figured out how to zoom in the editing, so. You didn't win this time. Then I picked out this one because I am obsessed with this. It kind of looks like an elephant ear, but also like a heart. Also don't know the name, so please feel free to let me know. But this spot was kind of perfect because it doesn't get direct light, but it gets a lot of bright indirect light. And then we got this vintage looking lamp from Home Goods as well. And it's got like a little bulb hanging. I'm obsessed. But here is the table. Is it not beautiful? Like this is what I loved. Was this, is that rattan? Oh Lord, I don't know. But I think it looks so pretty. Like this is the the look. Now I have to clean things up. Don't judge it too quickly, but yeah, I love it. And there, I, I just, it's, we're having a good time. We're having a good time. I missed vlogging so much. Now let's go vlog making a coffee because if I don't vlog it, it didn't happen. Turn from the afterglow 
Will you carry me like I am home again? Wait. I think I also want to read this. Why? Is this so bright? It literally looks like I'm visiting heaven. I mean, that'd be kind of cute, but like not right now, you know? Like I have plans, I got things to do. <laughs> I can't go yet. This is so pretty. Do I want to add it to the stack? I do, I do. Also, I want to show you, did I already show you this? Whatever, you're looking at it again. I'm obsessed with this color scheme. Like I, j it's just getting better. Although <laughs> I need to order, this is from Brooklinen. Um, I bought one of their silk pillowcases and I love it. The color's not going. Why did you get that one, Olivia? That doesn't match like anything in life. Um, it reminded me of Harry Styles. I, <laughs> I don't know what you want from me. Been a fan since literally 2010. I, it's, it was bound to happen. Although I feel like an earthy one would remind me of Nile, and I was a Nile girl in the 1D days. So maybe that, maybe that. Anyways, here is the the setup for all the goods and we're gonna try and ignore all the fireworks and vibe that sentence just should have stopped earlier Oh my god, hello. There's a ghost in the background it's focusing on. Hi, it's your boy, back again. Just from angles you never even thought you'd be forced to see. Do you like the ginger shrine? What the heck? Okay, I didn't know the legs looked like that. <laughs> Let's put that away, that's inappropriate. Um, okay, you saw a little bit of this. I want to show you more because I haven't taken the dust jacket off in a little bit and I forgot what it looked like. Sometimes I like having a questionable memory storage space because I forget little things like this and then I get excited about them again. But like, look how pretty this is. It reminds me of like astrology, no, astronomy? Yes. I was like, which one is the science? That's what I'm talking about because there was a building like that on my college campus that was really pretty. Look how pretty, it's so gorgeous. And then inside is crazy. Like they foiled the inside. I love it. Also, if you have UK, like specifically, oh, I just want to show you my little bookmark. Isn't it so cute? Um, fairy loot, Illumicrate books. When you go like, and it has a little crack, the little, I just love it. I'm like, <laughs> okay. The espresso is working and my head doesn't hurt as bad. So I might just read a few chapters of this guy and then continue on with the final strife. I don't really know. These are the two books that I want to read before, wait, it's Tuesday and the re summer ween starts on Friday. You know what though? One thing I never forget to do is set goals that are just, are we going to get to them? I don't know. <laughs> But I'd love to read both of these by the time that summer ween starts because then that's going to be spooky time But I'm kind of in like a fantasy So I want to get the fantasy kick done and then I always get in a thriller spooky mood After fantasy and then I go back to fantasy except I am doing one of those booktubers choose my TBR except the people didn't choose my TBR it's just books that they talked about a lot that I want to read because of them and I'm gonna read them <laughs> and there's only three of them but one of them is a spooky one actually another one's a thriller and then one of them is a YA contemporary which I have not read in a while because it's probably contemporary is my least favorite genre across the board uh, unless there's drama. I love drama, but I think that's just literary fiction then. I don't really know. Genres are all made up if you think about it, so it doesn't matter. Hi guys. So I have the biggest hydroflask no, <gasps> that was a bad slip up. 
I've never even owned a Hydro Flask. That's my partner's thing. Anyways, I have the biggest Stanley. I did buy it and I'm not sorry about it. I bought this because first of all, I, I wanted it. <laughs> so that's the main step. Second of all, I really wanted one that was like giant because I just have to do two of these a day as my like minimum water intake and it's working out really freaking well. Yeah, it's my home one though. Like I do have the smaller ones for when I go out in public because I won't lug this around. But you know what? When and maybe if they come out with a 91, I'll be placing an order. I'll tell you what, if there's one thing I am, it's loyal to Stanley. And then I got my little bear on top. It's so cute. If you want to join me in the bear club, I'll link it down below. <laughs> um, but I am, as you can see, currently editing. I just filmed the uh, ad read for book of the month for the July monthly reset, which I'm really excited about that one because first of all, I do love book of the month, but also I got two books that I really did genuinely want to read and the library holds for them are out the door. I don't know why, but the Catherine Center one, uh, is it Hello Stranger, I believe? It just seems very fallish to me, like September. So I think that's when I'll probably read it. It is Wednesday. July 5th. Yesterday, you guys, that was a brain goblin day, okay? It was a really fun morning. It was really nice getting up so early and being out in the world and like no one else was there and getting to just kind of like, I don't know, live, laugh, love in the wee hours of the morn. But for whatever reason, two o'clock hit and so did the brain goblins. Now, I've decided to evolve them, okay? So brain goblins are just like whatever mental stuff, anxiety, depression, OCD, all the, all the girls are here, right? Brain goblins are what you make them, but it's just like when your mind is like blah and it's not great. Mine's anxiety with like a few little fun things thrown in there. I have deemed the nighttime ones brain gremlins because they're something different. <laughs> like they're something more. There's something else going on with those and they're worse which is why i am definitely going to bed very regularly very early and i have decided today i want to try to stay off my phone as much as humanly possible which is super possible because the only thing i need to do on my phone today is edit my uh photos that I took for thumbnails and I can actually get a several done today, like several thumbnails done today, which is great so that I don't have to bother with it. Now, what you are going to see <laughs> is that basically my life is just switching out the crew neck I'm wearing or more likely the Lulu lemon, oh my God, zip funnel thing, which speaking of, I want to see if they have, guys, 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 <laughs> you guys, I bought the hot pink bag to go watch the Barbie movie. And because also I love hot pink and I want a funnel zip that matches. I have the like rosy pink, but also now there's a purple pink I'm looking at right now. And you know, what's really hard to do, not justify it by just saying like, it's my birthday tomorrow. <laughs> I've already done that. I already did that when I bought this new lens. <laughs> I can't keep doing this. I can't keep getting away with this. Anyways, we're trying to stay off the phone today. That's the plan. I just want to hang out with y'all, talk to the camera, hang out with Jake, because we had a late night with the fireworks last night. No thanks to everyone who was setting them off. Hang out with Ginger. She's being extra needy. So with her, did I update y'all about her going to the ER? I think so. She's good now. She got the old lady um, arthritis shot thing. And she, when I tell you, she is like chasing us down the hallway again and like Tokyo drifting around corners. And it is so nice to see. I'm not gonna tear up cause that's weird. <laughs> but um, yeah, I, I basically just need to get tomorrow's video completely done. I do want to do a little bit of editing on this weekly vlog just so there's not like a huge amount that I have to do. I just have to do a watch through on Mondays. I'm trying to stop doing editing on Mondays and let that be like finish off editing the weekly vlog on Sundays, like Sunday afternoon, just do a little bit of work and finish the vlog off. And then I can do all of the like uploading and thumbnail and all that good stuff after that. And then Monday is like, a start of a new week because every time I have to like go back and watch an hour and 20 minute vlog, I'm like, 
I already lived this. <laughs> I know what happens. And then I'm always surprised at what happens because I don't remember all of it. I lived it, but I do not remember all of it. I'll tell you what, that is the goal for today. What are the goals? I don't know, that wasn't very clear, was it? I am editing my monthly reset. I am getting the thumbnails done. And then I want, my eyes are set on Divine Rivals. My head is having a little bit of like the leftovers of a headache, which I know why I get headaches. Like it's a thing, I have a doctor, all that good stuff. But a lot of them are just like, gotta ride it out kind of headaches. So I'm riding it out and anxiety and stress are really what like trigger my headaches. And I'm always anxious and stressed, so it's like so fun. Uh, but I was reading Divine Rivals last night. I got to chapter 10. Y'all, this book is so good. This book is so good. I love how fantastical this world is without it like feeling like it's a whole new fantasy world. Like it feels like basically our world in like, I don't know, the Victorian times slash, not really Victorian, more like the 1920s-ish times. It was like that world was the blueprint. And then she just decided to like have enchanted houses, enchanted storefronts. There's gods, monsters, mythical creatures, like all these things happening in it. And I love it. I'm absolutely obsessed. I did set a TBR for July, but honestly, it's kind of like a, yeah, for sure, right? Okay, yeah, we'll get to that. TBR because I just wanna read all of this author's books now. Like that's where I'm at. And I don't really have that with a lot of authors. The last time I did that was when I reread and finished off Throne of Glass and then, well, actually I don't know if that counts because I just reread all of Sarah Janet's books. I didn't like read them for the first time because I read Throne of Glass and Akatar like as they were coming out. So I guess that one wouldn't count. What would count? I guess Jennifer Lynn Barnes, I'm doing that too, where I just loved the Inheritance games and I loved that so much that I have not read the third one yet because I don't want it to end. But now I'm going back and reading her other series and they're great. They're great. Were you wondering? Let me tell you, they're great. I'm gonna get to what I actually said that I was gonna freaking do, and then we will. I probably should go drop off a bunch of these library books because I just had to have a, like a, a come to Jesus moment with myself this morning and realize that like, Olivia, you're not gonna read all these library books right now. So write them down, like write down a little list, and when you're ready, <laughs> You can, you can go find the branch that has the copy and you can have it that day if you absolutely must. But right now, I'm just not reading. I just don't need to. So yeah, quick refresh for myself so I can make a cute little graphic for this vlog. What am I doing? First goal, no phone usage. Save for texting either the besties or my partner. Second goal, get the thumbnails done. Good God. Third goal, get the July monthly reset up for early access on Patreon. Fourth goal, schedule, oh shoot, I gotta do that right now. Schedule the Patreon sprints and do the sprints tonight for our weekly sprints on Patreon. How many times did I say Patreon? Say it one more time for the girls in the back. Oh, I did, guys, this is so random. I did get a brand new, what is it called? Like, gra not graphic, but I got, I commissioned a whole like, Patreon refresh, okay? So like I got a new banner, that's already done and I'm obsessed with it. I'm getting tiers refreshed by the, they're the same person that already did the tiers, but it's just like, I got everything done at the same time to be more cohesive and I decided to like splurge on doing like my weekly sprints thumbnails, getting them done professionally by a, a I think she's a children's book artist actually, but it's, I have the mock-ups of the tiers and the thumbnails. I can't even imagine them in color, okay? Because the thumbnails, I got four, one for each season. So spring, summer, fall, winter, and they are so cute. They are so freaking cute. Like I cannot wait, cannot wait to be able to use them. But today is not the day that I can use them because they're not all done. So I'm gonna have to use my old Canva ones, trusty Canva. I'm gonna let y'all go because I'm just talking to you now. Like you have things to do, okay? I need to be not rude.
Okay, hi guys. So I just got home. I finished the thumbnails. I made two thumbnails. I edited a bunch of pictures that I will use in other thumbnails. I still need to edit this week's vlog, but I was on my phone for longer than I wanted to and too much screen time can mess with my noggin when it's sensitive. So I decided to go pick up my library holds and drop some off as you saw. I picked up a little matcha from Starbucks. I tried out their matcha cold foam. It's a thing. It, I mean, it was there. I don't think I needed to get it again. I just wanted to try it because I was on the app and I saw that it was an option. I was like, what's this? But I decided to pick up these two holds that I had because I want to just read the natural series. I'm on the second book right now. Decided to grab these. I don't know the order. The Naturals, Killer Instinct, maybe it's All In is next. And then, well this doesn't say in here. Oh, so then All In and then Bad Blood. So I got these two. I already have Killer Instinct like I said in there. So I'll go put those up. I am thinking about putting my library holds on the new thing behind the couch. Cause I kind of like the idea of coming out here, picking out a book, going back to either my reading chair, the couch or the bedroom to read wherever it is. It just feels like a little routine. I don't know. I just like having those, but I am home and uh, hello. Let's, I have brown hair. I'm wearing a gray sweat, like just the most obvious things. Um, I have this little pumpkin guy that I mentioned in my monthly reset. When I was watching back the final reset, which I meant to say I finished that, I'm just waiting for the brand approval. I want to make lemon, strawberry, mint water. That's like my go-to summer water. To be honest, that's it's really weird, but I like to make fruit infused water to drink when I'm feeling anxious. For some reason it helps. I don't really know why. I think it's just cause it's water. First of all, water always helps my anxiety, whether it's just distracting me. Cause I'm like, okay, I have a water goal now. And then I think about that more than I think about anxiety or like the flavors. I don't know what it is, but it helps. I'm not going to question it. I'm just going to do it. So I want to make some of this, put it in the fridge, but I really need to like, clean everything in the kitchen. It's just, y'all probably have this too, but sometimes when you're just not like keeping up with the cleaning, the counter becomes like a landing zone. And so there's just a bunch of stuff that just needs to be put in its proper place. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna put Amy's Crypt, which is a paranormal channel that I've really been loving. I'm gonna put her on the TV, listen to those in the background while I clean. I was gonna do an audiobook, but again, I'm not in the mood for an audiobook. My head's still a little bit of a lingering thing. So I'm gonna clean, I'm gonna get everything organized, and then I'm going to, exactly, sit down with Divine Rivals. That was such a gentle meow, I don't even know if you heard her. <laughs> but Ginger, she's back to her screaming self, which I'm happy about, surprisingly. So, oh, actually, after I clean, I'm gonna take a shower. Cause I just really feel like I wanna take a shower, do my face routine, and then kinda hang out until I have my live show tonight. So, that is the plan. Let's go enact it. Like this is what I'm talking about. Just random stuff. Just random things that need to be put away. That's it. So that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, so I've cleaned off the counter, put some things where they need to go, but I wanna show you this liquid IV PR thing I got in the mail. First of all, I think it's crazy that I even get liquid IV PR. Like that I even get PR at all. I did wanna show, I got, hello. I got a little car mount. So just know I'm trying to work on the car vlogs we've talked about. And then also got some SD cards because I have to organize my life. But this. I already looked, I'm not gonna lie to you. And I'm excited about these flavors. And I'm excited that there is no sugar and no artificial sweeteners because my partner hates like stevia and stuff. So. Now it's sugar 
That cracks me up every freaking time. But look, it's so nice. But yeah, there is, first of all, I am very happy about this. Like, I'm so excited to have a hat. Is that dorky? Yeah, were they probably expecting me to be the most excited about that? No. Also, there's scratch and sniff stickers. We'll see. And then this is that, that made that. It's like this little portable speaker guy with a little um, thing down there. And then of course, what do I need? Another water bottle. But look at that on the back. That is so freaking cute. This is like perfect for going on a walk. So until the Shea Mitchell brand restocks her like water bottle holder things, I will be, oops, ripping this box apart. I will be using this. We got it, sir. So the first one that they have is, what is this, lemon lime. That's actually my favorite one currently. It is just so refreshing. But then this one is white peach, which I'm really excited about. Also, this isn't sponsored. They just sent me this and I'm a dork and I'm excited. And then this is the last one. It is green grape, which is interesting. I'm gonna try it. I don't typically like grape flavor. I don't. Yeah, I don't typically like grape flavors. I don't know why, I just don't. My favorite's always peach. And this one sounds good. So I may try this, but let me go ahead and like get all of these out of here. This came in the mail when I was not posting and I hadn't been able to clear it off my counter because I put like all the stuff that I wanna show you guys, whether it's like, library books, a book haul, little things I've picked up or like stuff that I get in the mail. I always put it on the counter so that I don't forget. But it wasn't letting me forget because it's been there for weeks. So now it's done and we have our new trio for the summertime. I'm excited about it. I can't lie to you. I am excited to try them all out. I'm most excited, let's put them in order. This is the one I'm, this is the way I'm most excited about. The white peach, lemon lime, because I already know I like it and then green grape. I'm just hesitant for new things that I don't know if I love the flavor. But yeah, now we are gonna make our little fruit summer water situation and continue listening to the paranormal. So I'm gonna put music over it so y'all don't have to hear me, Amy, or Jared. Those are the two people on the podcast, not podcast, two people on the YouTube channel um, cry and scream and freak out about ghosts. They're doing one in Texas right now. And I'm like, first of all, yeehaw, but also all scare -haw. And now we have our two, well, I gotta fill this up, but now we have fruit infused water and then regular water, but I gotta fill that up now. Hello guys, um, it is Thursday. It is my day of birth 
and we just got back from what you saw in the b-roll that place for smoothie bowls and it was so good so good i need to go back but also it's so hot outside but i think i look cute in this outfit and i just got my abercrombie order in they had a sale and i had rewards so i did buy lots of pairs of pants because y'all if your waist hip and is it thigh measurements i don't know whatever those measurements are for your jeans if they are like not like the normal whatever abercrombie curve love so good my two ones that i love are the ultra high rise curve love ankle straight jean and then same everything except the 90s fit both of those are so good i got three of each one to try and they all fit and now my credit card's like hello <laughs> like that melania hello are you gonna return and i'm like i've never liked jeans as much as i do and like one of my goals is to try to wear jeans more because it makes me feel like i'm presentable like i'm i'm ready for the world i'm ready to take on also i did my makeup today with the hydro the hydro milk primer and then the hydro spray setting spray too i'm gonna have to go ahead and recommend that to anybody it is so good the only thing is i used to use a foundation brush to put on my foundation when i used just like a moisturizing primer this one the beauty blender is so much better for it it would it just i feel like it went on really well and i think it looks really good it just kind of evened out my whole face which is what i wanted so i'm gonna have to go ahead and recommend that um if you want to even look at it i'll link it down below but i'm very much loving both of those i ordered them based on jackie Ina. i think i did it in a vlog actually one of those like productive day vlogs that i've done and uh yeah i don't regret it at all i got it from sephora so if you want to look for it, that's where I got it. But I've just filled up my giant Stanley once again. It needed some ice desperately, so it's there now. I have a jazz asthma ambiance room on the background. I hope you guys can't hear that train too loud. It is three o'clock. My mom is coming over at 5.30. And unfortunately, um, my brain goblins don't understand that today's supposed to be like a chill fun day because we're gonna go see insidious go to dinner get gelato after like it's gonna be great um but like i'm bordering on an anxiety attack again so like super fun loving that and what are you anxious about oh i don't know nothing actually i'm just like physically anxious so my brain is searching for something to be anxious about not finding anything so it's starting to just like make things up <laughs> I'm like, what are we doing? How do I get off this ride? I didn't buy a ticket. So just the most relatable birthday content for you. But I did want to update you. So I have not read any more of this right now. But since there's monsters in it, it's feeling a little summer weeny to me. So I might just continue on with it for the vibes and read it at night because that is one of the prompts. And technically I've been reading it at night. So I think that works. We'll read in the dark slash nighttime so you see how you can just mold them to fit your book mm -hmm. and then i do have you're invited this is a thriller this was the book club pick for last month so june and july and november and december just blur together for me and for some reason like i looked up i looked down and it was june i looked up and it was july and i was like hello <laughs> what is happening so I'm getting on it now. I've decided I've been watching, like I told y'all, the ice maker is struggling. And honestly, I get it. I told y'all that I have been watching a lot of lifestyle stuff and I have seen in the last week that I've been watching it, a lot of the people I watch do these vlogs called like FaceTiming like or vlogging like we're on FaceTime, FaceTime vlog, things like that. And I want to do that, but I don't know if I would love that as like an hour long video, although that's what they do. I just don't know if I would be good at it because I'd like want to edit everything out that I said that I was like, what are you saying? Because on FaceTime, half the time I'm editing myself in the middle of it because I'm like, oh, wait, that didn't even make sense. Let me try it again. Oh, still didn't make sense. Let me try it again. So my version of that I've decided is to try it while reading this. So like every time I update the vlog, it's like I'm calling on FaceTime to be like, oh my God, I just got to chapter five, you know? Um, but realistically, I'm only on chapter three 
and I'm intrigued, I'm interested. I like that this includes like text conversations, other things. I like the way that it started out. I think, you know, it's interesting. Um, there are some parts where I'm like, okay, I don't think I had to share that with the class. That's how I feel about every book because I think every time I'm like, hmm, that was a weird thing to say out loud, you know? And I think it's because I do that. <laughs> so that's why I'm like aware of it in books. But that is it for now. I do have, oh, this is your invited. I did, it was on sale. And I was like, oh, I'll wanna read it on my Kindle. But as soon as the library hole came in, I was like, I don't even know what a Kindle is anymore. Who cares about a Kindle? Um, I, I did download a few books for a romanticy vlog. Um, I meant to pull up Divine Rivals. If you guys want romanticy vlogs, please let me know because I would love to. I just don't know if I should just do it in a weekly vlog and just say like reading romanticy for a week or what. If you don't know, romanticy is fantasy romance. And my favorite one that I've read so far, it's probably Daughter of No Worlds by Chris Broadbent. And I have already read it, but I'm rereading it to annotate it and then continue on with the series. So I could do that, but for sure I'm reading The Serpent and the Wings of Night. And then the Sun Trials of the Queen, The Trials of the Sun Queen, The Sun Trials of the Queen, something like that. It's a KU book. And then, oh, let me, you know what? Let me just look them up for you because I can't even remember this one either. So it's, the Serpent of the Wings of Night, whatever, that one, too long. Trial of the Sun Queen and A Court This Cruel and Lovely, which my buddy Ami recommended because um, she is like the go-to for all of this. And I'm also thinking about continuing on with um, the Blood Grace series, which the next book is Blood Solace. I know that I said that I didn't love the first book that much, but maybe I'm romanticizing my time with it, or maybe I actually liked it more than I realized, but I kind of want to read it again because I want like an epic fantasy writing style for a romantic fantasy, you know? But also Tahara Mafi, her This Woven Kingdom, loving it, loving it. And also Rebecca Ross, who is the author of Divine Rivals, loving that too. But anyways, I am going to try to redirect my brain to focus on reading. We're gonna see if that can happen. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm 100% sure that I'm gonna try. And also I just wanted to say, um, I know that my zodiac sign is that of a cancer a little crab but i don't love getting emotional because especially like this makeup costs too much you guys are being so nice on my new video <laughs> and i don't know why but i downloaded youtube studio so that i could upload the thumbnail to it and then i just started like i posted it this morning and then i started looking at the comments and i was just like i really love you guys so just know probably by like, I'm literally tearing up, probably by Saturday or Sunday night, I'm gonna be like, mm, yep, starting to get cramps because I'm pretty sure that's why I'm emotional. But also pretty sure I just like, like you guys a lot or whatever. Not to get too parasocial with it, but like y'all are pretty cool. You're pretty rad, okay? <laughs> All right, so that's enough of attempting to be emotionally open. I'm going to go back to being closed off. I'm going to read some of these books. I don't know which one. I feel like I wanna do Divine Rivals and then I'll read some more of your invited tonight. Cause I don't know if I'm liking it. I don't know. Cause it's, it's about a main character. Like she finds out her ex best friend is marrying her ex boyfriend. And I just don't think I would, I'd be like, oh, okay, happy wedding. I don't know. I just, she's like really upset about it. So part of me is like, is there something different that we don't know about? Is she unreliable? I'm already kind of, honestly, I'm getting some unreliable because some of the thoughts she has, I'm just like, and I have intrusive thoughts and these are throwing me off guard. <laughs> but okay, I'm gonna go do that. And I'll see you guys later. Okay, isn't this like POV just the coziest look right now? I know that we were just talking, but look at this. Isn't it so like, I just feel like it looks so cozy with like the little, you can't hear it because I've muted it so they don't try and steal my video. But this jazz music playing in the background is so nice and like the lamp and the colors, the kitty cat back there. Like it all is just, I don't know, I really like it. And also, I want to show you these really pretty flowers that I got this morning. Aren't they so pretty? These are like literally my favorite kind of flower. And then I love eucalyptus. Like they're so, they're so pretty, aren't they? Yes, I agree.
Something for me. Then he kept walking on down the road, and I watched him disappear like smoke. And I thought I'd just seen a ghost. And I looked. Hello, guys. I swear. The best thing about this lens camera duo is that it makes any spot in this house like a good filming spot and I really like that. I just got this hat in the mail yesterday. I was influenced <laughs> by a lifestyle channel to get it and I think it looks really cute. It's a little long here than I thought it would be but just got it on Amazon. It was really cute. It was in her... Um, shop i have finished two books since i talked to you guys i read 600 pages yesterday hello so the first one i finished was cloud on a cornfield 2 and i finished the third book in the orphan x series which was called hellbent cloud on cornfield was fine hellbent there's something about the title Hellbent because this book was so good. It wasn't like a five star like Lee Bardugo's Hellbent, but this was probably my favorite so far in the series. Um, the second one was like so slow. Like I thought, okay, maybe this isn't for me. And then I read this and I read this in, this is 400 pages and I think I read it probably in four to six ish hours. We went to the library like you saw, checked it out, came home, read a little bit, had dinner, watched some uh, Only Murders in the Building. We're re-watching season one right now. And then we watched a bit of Amy's Crypt. And then I just read until like 1 a.m. when I finished it. And I was like, yeah, this was really good. Um, this series 
is I said it in the Summerween vlog, but that's not going up yet. So let me explain this series to you here too. This is essentially the same brand of like the Equalizer, Mission Impossible, John Wick, Liam Neeson style kind of, I don't really know, like spy adjacent kind of thing. But basically what this is, is there is a government program called the Orphan Project program. It's kind of like B613 from Scandal, if you've watched that. And it's super hidden, super underground. No one knows about it. Well, our main character, Evan, Evan Smoke, he decided to like go underground and just completely ran away from the program, which is like not something you do. And now what he does is he has a phone that when people call it, he's known as the nowhere man. And when they call, if they need help, he just goes and like does kind of vigilante kind of things. And I like it because it is, again, kind of in that John Wick equalizer kind of vibe, but it's also just written well. I will say that there are some characters that are written way better than others for sure, but overall it's fun. And we're seeing Mission Impossible on Tuesday and I'm so excited. So I was kind of having this like want to read this series again. This is like one of my mom's favorites. And I checked out the fourth one as well from the library and thank God because it's sitting in there waiting for me now. However, I am thinking because I'm also reading only or watching only murders in the building. I kind of want more of a cozy mystery esque book, which those are very fast and action packed. So I am thinking of picking up, um, an unexpected peril by Deanna Rayborn because this series is very comforting to me. But I'm also thinking about picking up the next book in the Richard Oseman series, The Thursday Murder Club. And I can't remember what it is, but I believe it's the blue cover. And that's also a mystery. And it's with older people. So I think I may do that one. I don't know. It's one of the two. One of the two is getting picked up. But I wanted to show you the two books that I got in the mail. So the first one is the Illumicrate book. So if you don't want to be spoiled, look away rapidly. But it is the sun and the void and it is so beautiful but like look at these stenciled edges can y'all just take a moment like that is beautiful i love them i love them so much there's art on the inside as well and underneath it is super pretty and i have no idea what this book is about but it is gorgeous it reminds me of the edition that they did of, I think it's the Court of Miracles, but they had like a coppery rose gold and it was split in two colors like this. It just looks so, it just looks so good. And then my partner for my birthday got me the Fairy Loot edition of The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo, which is one of my favorite books of all time. I cry every time, I wanna reread it. I'm not gonna annotate this edition, but I have the original edition that I read and I want to annotate the heck out of it and just tab it up and read it again, um, cause I loved it a lot. But this is the special edition that I'm gonna try and find somewhere to display it because I just love it. I just love it so much. And I didn't get it when they were selling it and they surprised me for my birthday. And by surprise, I mean, I told them like, I absolutely want this, hint, hint. And they were like, Pango. <laughs> so anyways, um, I am not going to lie to you guys though, right now. I am having that beginning of the month brain goblin flare up. I wasn't gonna say anything because i'm like i feel like every time i come on here i'm just like such a debbie downer and i'm so negative and i don't want to do that like i want to be positive and make people feel better also i think there's something to say about not feeling like alone with the anxiety and do i mention it every week yeah but like that's because i have it every week and it's like part of my life and there are other people like that and i don't think it's inherently negative to talk about it or to have it and experience it it i'm trying to reframe it any of my therapists out there watching reframe reframe i'm trying to reframe it as it is net neutral it's not a negative it's not a positive it's not fun but you know what it just it, it it's a thing that's there and i feel like it gets a little less powerful and like not as much of a hold on my day or my brain when i'm just kind of like okay sure like when you know you have the racing thoughts the hot thoughts the like little the anxiety and the brain goblins are like, you know, jumping and shouting. It's just like, 
if you just answer it with like, okay. Cause I, okay, I have a huge thing of like my thoughts and I can always tell their anxiety, but sometimes they're like so good at rewording. So you know when you'll say things like, okay, but what if, and you know that if basically means, okay, well it's not currently happening and you don't have like a logical route of it happening. So that's anxiety talking, but you can reword things to essentially still mean what if, but like it doesn't actually use those words. So it's not as much of like a boop. I can, I can realize and recognize this pattern of thinking. So like, I, I really have to, I really have to think about it and I really have to like hone in on that. And I've told y'all before that I named all of my like anxiety thoughts. Um, they have a name. It's a girl who comes over to the house. Her name's Dolores. She's awful. She's the head of the HOA, the head of my anxiety thought process distribution center. And we just don't like Dolores. We do not like Dolores here. Dolores on New Jersey, she's all right. But Dolores here, we're not a huge fan. Okay. We see her coming down the street. We walk inside, you know, we're sitting on the porch having tea and we see Dolores coming around that corner. We leave like, yeah, it was nice outside, but no, we don't have time for her. And I feel like I've been having a lot of those just right now. And they always kick up at the beginning of the month. I just know that they're going to, but it doesn't always help. You know, just because you know it's going to happen and it does happen, sometimes it's still like, ooh. <laughs> you know, you open the door and it's not a fun Amazon package or book mail. It's like a person trying to sell you something and it's like, ooh, I don't want that. Dolores, leave. But yeah, I have decided that I'm going to end the vlog here because Dolores has come, okay, full force, and she's doing what she does. But I did want to say, that I am going, I have some goals. Let's set some goals for the new week. I think I'm gonna try to end these vlogs on Sundays from now on and we can like talk about our week, you know? What we're gonna do for the week. I know it's Tuesday for you guys, but I still believe that Monday and Tuesday are like fresh days. Like they are the freshest days of the week to me. Sunday is like the last one. Monday and Tuesday are like amped up freshest days. And then Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, like that that's just, you know, we're trying to get through it at this point. So if we didn't set those goals by Monday and Tuesday, we'll do a wraparound. We'll come back <laughs> for next Monday and Tuesday. Um, but for this one, I just talked um, with my partner in the car and we are going to get up at... <laughs> 6 30 so that we can go walk on some trails by us um every morning and i think like genuinely i have seen who was the last person i saw talking about i think it was victoria aviard where her husband is a, a doctor basically a not online person who that is what my partner is to me is a not online person and she called them her touch grass person and i was like oh my god and i also then realized oh my god i need to go touch grass and not just like in my backyard but like i need to leave my house and leave like the internet behind and like just go be living you know what i mean so that's my goal for the week that is my big goal i'm just gonna do one is that i go out and i walk every morning we won't do wednesdays though because of just like schedule stuff every other one we should be able to get up at 6 30 and go walk and i think that's gonna be helpful i think it's gonna be good it's supposed to be really hot so it's like 80 by the time it's six in the morning or like 75 probably so it'll be like a nice i love humid and muggy mornings so it should be really nice i'm excited i got a new lululemon belt bag i'll show you all next week because i don't feel like going and grabbing it right now sorry i'm lazy i don't know what to tell you but yeah that's my goal so i would love to know what your goal is or if you want to like set goals now for next week we can do that we can check in maybe i'll like check in the comments and be like girl did you do it me neither let's try again next week because <laughs> also there's no use in being hard on yourself if you don't reach the goal but i am gonna like really try i'm trying to work on my discipline also i have talked to a few online friends and the habit I need to stop doing is Googling every experience, thought, emotion I have, adding the word Reddit onto the end of it to see if anyone else in the world has had the feeling. Girl, yes. Yep, everyone has some version of health anxiety. Like, leave it, drop it, let it alone. It is not that big a deal. Like, it's not happening currently, so it's not happening. <laughs> that's what, that's my new motto for the week. Is it's not happening currently, so it's not happening. That's why I need to think because when I tell y'all I am living like 16 years down the road and what's going on right here, I don't know. Couldn't tell you because I'm freaking out about what could happen in 12 years. What? It's just, when you say it out loud, it's, it's like a little mind boggling. So I like talking about it. Let me do a wrap around. I like talking about it because it 
is honestly super nice to talk to you guys about it in the comment section. Even just to like read what y'all are experiencing, y'all experiences with it, how you deal with it, all of that. I love connecting about that because I just feel like once you realize it's not a super like unique experience in the slightest, very nice. However, I need to stop Googling them because you will find like other things that may like trigger different anxieties, not great, that like, you know, whatever. It's like the 1.0001% where it's like, yeah, but my anxiety was right. And I'm like, oh, don't need to hear that. Cause if it is, is it happening now? That it's not happening. <laughs> so there's that. Um, I hope that you guys are having a wonderful, wonderful week. Make sure you let me know any goals you have down below what's going on our goal always 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 is to stay hydrated drink our water be kind to everybody everywhere i love her so much i'm gonna start saying that i think i because i honestly i really agree with that and that does include yourself be kind to yourself okay do it i dare you oh and you know what i'm also gonna dare you to have a freaking good day like on purpose i don't you figure it out, but you have to do it because it's a dare. It's actually a double dog dare. It's actually a triple dog dare. So now you're stuck and I am too. We have to go both do it. So just remember feeling any anxiety, stop, drop and roll. No, but really stop, drop and ask yourself, is it happening now? It is not happening. It's, it's not. Is it happening in the future? Maybe it's your problem down the road, you know? Yeah. I'll wind. see you later. Hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side, our fears are done. All the good times just begun. Oh, we know what we have. Let's hold on tight. Found what we're looking for in life.